The bigger question is, will the market values crowd out the love of learning, learning for its own sake, no, but there is no such goods. thing as learning for its own sake. <laughs> you learn so you can earn money. The one who knows the answer gets the money. That's the rules of Jeopardy. What should be the role of money in markets in a good society? In the wake of a natural disaster, Vendors may not increase the price of basic supplies. Price gauging laws are a type of robbery, in a way. Robbery? What about allowing a free market in kidneys? No government regulation would restrict me from selling my own kidney. I could find a way to do it. Have you heard of dwarf tossing? Cash for good grades. Sell the right to immigrate. Refugee quotas. Racism. Selling sex. Look is death pools. Privatized prisons. What do you think about the government paying people if they vote? More people are going to be voting, so there is going to be a chance for like better representation of more ideas. There could be a ballot option to make it explicitly clear to the state why you have chosen not to pick a candidate. So you could have none of the above and then write a short essay about why. <laughs> <laughs> if one day there were an election in Syria, would you fly back? I will. Why is preferring attractive people sexist? Some people aren't like that, and they should be able to work and not be judged on what they look like. If it's a matter of that person's family living, you know, if he doesn't sell that kidney, that's a kind of coercion. I wouldn't call it coercion. What I'd call it is it limits your choices. The Boston Celtics, very disproportionately higher tall people. That's not something that would trouble me. I think we disagree on the purpose of laws. That's where the difference between legality and morality comes from. We might dislike something. I would not make it illegal. I'm just offended that anybody's bringing the notion of selfishness into markets. The whole essence of globalization was that we we're going to have free trade, free movement of capital, but the one thing that we have resisted is the free movement of people. Commodifying refugees. I mean, you could say anytime you hire a person, you put a price on them. They're not free to migrate to where they want to go. They're sold by this quota system. It's not that distant from slavery, is it? Maybe there are certain things that companies shouldn't profit off of. Why is enough not enough? The question of markets is really a question of how we want to live together. Do we want a society where everything is up for sale? Or are there certain moral and civic goods that markets do not honor and money cannot Bye.